BMW M4 CS Review What is it? The BMW M4 CS is the BMW Motorsport Division's definitive take on the Performance 4 Series Coupe. Maybe. And if so, only at the fifth time of asking if we include the late DTM Champion Edition in the list of M4s we've been treated to already. Well, it's no more cynical than Porsche's profiteering with the 991 Generation 911 GT3, is it? Where desirable performance derivatives are concerned, it seems anything goes. The M4 CS comes to market about a year after the even more expensive and specialized M4 GTS. It will be in production for the thick end of two years and officially it's not a limited series car. BMW M says it will simply make as many as it can within the time it has to make them. About 1,000 a year, he says. And M boss Frank Van Meel also says there's sufficient global demand for the car to sell every one they'll make. Perhaps most interesting of all, the M4 CS is the start of something new and interesting from the M division. Cars in this mold, with CS badging will be a constant feature of BMW M's model range from this point onwards, or so say company insiders. In light of that fact, Munich certainly wouldn't want to undershoot against expectations with the first one. No danger of that last time around, you may remember. The M4 GTS was an incredible car, but one that stretched the margins of acceptability for a BMW M car in all sorts of ways most notably on usability and value. It cost £120,000, it had a relatively high maintenance water-injected engine, it had manually adjustable coilover suspension, it had no back seats and, much too firmly suspended for mixed road driving in the state in which it was supplied for the test, it finished towards the bottom of our final order in last year's Britain's Best Drivers Car Shootout. BMW said it would build 700 of them and, a year on from the car's appearance in UK showrooms, the word is that you can still get a brand new one without looking too hard or waiting too long. Not exactly a smash hit, then. So if Porsche 911 GT3 RS level mechanical execution and outlay turned out to be a bit rich for an M4, what happens when BMW M takes some of the GTS more trick ingredients? Have that car's price premium and keeps everyday road suitability front of mind during the dynamic tuning process. The new M4 CS is the answer, a car with plenty of the special track-ready flavor of the GTS, but whose engine and suspension don't require a ready supply of distilled water and a garage with a hydraulic lift to get the best out of. What's it like? The CS uses the lighter weight carbon fiber reinforced plastic bonnet and rear diffuser of the GTS and adds its own new fixed height front splitter and rear gurney spoiler both made out of the same stuff, keeping the carbon roof of the regular M4 coupe. Inside it's got the weight saving lighter weight door skins and center console of the GTS as well as the special paired down stereo. But it's also got back seats. Unlike the GTS it doesn't get lighter weight carbon buckets up front or BMW M's carbon ceramic brakes as standard. Also, instead of the GTS mind-bogglingly complicated coilover suspension, the CS uses a retuned version of the M4 competition's suspension fitted out with new forged wheels and Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. The upshot is that the new M4 CS goes only some of the way towards matching the weight saving of the GTS. It's 35 kilograms lighter than an M4 competition, before you add those optional carbon stoppers, while the GTS enjoyed about twice that advantage. But that's only half the picture. The M4 CS engine makes a sizable improvement to the real-world performance of the even the M4 competition mostly by matching the peak torque of the GTS minus 442 pounds foot, without the need for that water injection system. Amazingly, the engine's internals are the same as those of the competition package car but its software management is new and simply works its twin monoscroll turbos harder at middling revs.
peak power increases to 454 bhp, which remains a distance behind what the likes of the Mercedes-AMG C63S Coupe and Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio Saloon make. But BMW M will be trusting CS owners to realize that the combination of 10% more torque, 35 kg less weight and some additional cup tire derived traction delivers this new M4 a 0 to 62 miles per hour claim of under 4 seconds, 3.9 to be exact. Which is just a tenth off that of an M4 GTS, and exactly what's claimed for both the Mercedes AMG and the Alpha, another box ticked. You install yourself into what seems like the same comfortable, thickly bolstered sports seat of the M4 competition when you first get into the CS, identical but for an illuminated logo on the backrest, a change to the upholstery theme and manual rather than motorized adjustment. The light away door skins and center console on either side of you immediately bring the GTS to mind conjuring a pleasing extra layer of performance purpose for the cabin that the Alcantara suede trims for the fascia, transmission tunnel, roof and door consoles echo. The manual, single zone climate control system, slightly thin sounding but respectable hi-fi and professional media infotainment system combine to strike just the right balance between a sense of apparent hardcore purpose and pragmatic real world usability. This is a car you'd happily drive every day, that has the convenience features you want of a modern German performance machine, but that's deliciously light on the luxury trimmings. Stereo aside, it's also much better to listen to than a normal M4. The car's quad exhaust system is the same as the one on the M4 competition but, shorn of some sound deadening and with a CS's new engine management in play, and a red line extended to 7,600 revolutions per minute, the CS sounds much more gritty and real than a standard M4. Not as angry as the titanium-piped GTS, granted, not even close. But the improvement in the appeal of the car's sonic character is plain. And it helps no end that BMW M's lightaway door skins remove the stereo system's door speakers that might otherwise broadcast the engine sound modulation so many object to in the normal M4. You still get some electronic augmentation of the engine sound but, at low and medium revs and under load, the perfectly synthesized digital warble of a normal M4 is replaced by a much more detailed spiky and authentic engine rumble that you'll instantly warm to on digging into the accelerator pedal travel. BMW gave us a couple of hours only in its new car, on roads around the Nürburgring Nord's life made busy by crowds gathered for the annual N24 endurance race. But even here, with no opportunity to really test the car up to the limit of its dynamic abilities, two things were clear that the additional performance served up by the CS's engine is probably even greater than BMW's claims suggest, and that the extra grip and body control created by its chassis not only makes the CS a more composed and precise handling car than a normal M4, but also one very at home on the road. As in any other M4, the CS allows you to select from comfort, sport and sport plus modes for its adaptive dampers power steering and engine calibration, to choose between three shift modes on the standard 7-speed MDCT twin clutch gearbox, and between two dynamic stability control modes besides the obligatory DSC offsetting. Whichever mode you're in, there's a small but tangible improvement in contact patch feel through the car's steering and a perceptibly sharper initial handling response as you feed the wheel through about 45 degrees either side of dead center center, 